Hmm. Did God create the devil? Now, from a Wu Sabat perspective, because this is where we're coming mm. from, Wu Sabat has a completely different perspective to everyone else because it deals with analysing things, breaking them down factually. Um, you have to do some research for yourself. So it's not a belief. Don't take our word for it. We get you to think about the subject and to really dig deep for yourself to come to your own conclusions. Now, when you address that topic, did God create the devil? You can't do that without, first of all, breaking down who or what you're calling God. And from a factual perspective, we have to first address the fact that we actually speak in English. Mm. And English is a language that has been put together from languages before. So the word God um, would have to be broken down. Where, where did you first come across this word? Most of the time it would be hearing it from someone or reading it somewhere. And ultimately, it would have some ties to a scripture or the religious books, like the Bible. That's the first time I came across it, where it says, in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And then you start to learn about this, this person or being or character called God. But in the language where it comes from, it's Elohim. And throughout the Bible, there are different meanings for the word God. So you'll have Elohim, Eva. Adonai, El Shad, El Shaddai, um, and the list goes on, Yahweh, etc, etc. But in the English, it all gets translated as God, 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 mm -hmm. God all the way. And then people will try and say there's a difference between God with a capital G mm -hmm. and God with a small g. But in the languages the Hebrew, where it's being translated from, that's not the case. And then you go to other cultures that predate the Bible, you get different words like the Anutu, the Neteru, the Anunnaki, um, you know, and the list goes on again. But if we're addressing it in English, um, the next thing would be, yes, God created the devil, but which God? And why and where? And then we have to look at, okay, what would be the purpose of creating a devil? What does the word devil actually mean? Yeah? What does the word create mean? Because mm. the whole point is, did God create the devil? And why the devil? Is there more than one? Is it only one? So when we start to dissect this properly, we've already established that God was created, um, you can go to Revelations 13, 14, mm -hmm. um, you know, you'll find out the beginning and the creation of God. Yeah, yeah? so, um, so that's, okay, the reason why we say that is because if you never came across the word God in your entire life, then at some point, somebody created it for it to then come, come into existence. Mm -hmm. We have to ask, who's that? Because who named God, God? God yeah. Because somebody had to come up with that term. Right, so we know it's a translation, a mistranslation, and it's, a, it's, it's brought into the English as a singular when in the languages that predate it, where it comes from, it's plural. Now, the word create, you create something from something that already exists. That's what the word creation means, it is to is to bring about something and form it into something. Mm. So even when they say, for example, God created Adam by taking the dust of the ground to form a man, the life already exists. There's mm. bacteria and life forms, microscopic life forms, but there, are, there is life in the dirt already. So that's not the first creation. And then the devil. What does the word devil mean? It means a false accuser, right? And there are many words for this character. It goes from devil to serpent to shaitan mm. 
to Diabolos, Iblis, Iblis um, Nakash, Tarnosh, Tarnosh, <laughs> um, Azazil, mm. many, many, many words, and they all mean different things in the different language. So we're gonna we're gonna explore this. Did God create the devil? What do you think? Now, what what would be the purpose? I mean, of creating the devil, because as as we see, the, the devil causes havoc. Mm. So, what would be the reason? Why would God want to create a being that's going to cause havoc, chaos on the planet? On the planet, mm. well, unless He is that Himself. Where did that, where did those attributes come from? Mm. Yeah, and the thing is that um, if God created, well, people will say some people say the the devil was once an angel, angel, fallen right? angel, and yeah. and they say that he went bad, mm. but it's like. Didn't he know? Didn't God know? know that he was going to end up? Yeah, because they say God is omnipresent, omnipotent, and he knows everything. Yeah. So it's like, and does God make mistakes? Mm. If God doesn't make mistakes, then there's no way he would say he created something and it went wrong. Um, yeah. Whether it was the angels or man, because he said it grieved him in his heart mm. when he saw that, you know, the thoughts and the imagination were evil, evil continuously. continuously. Yeah. So the point is that, like you say, why create a being that's going to cause havoc on the planet? Mm -hmm. And if the, another question is very important is, does God have more power than the devil? Mm -hmm. Because if he created the devil, even as an angel, and the angel went bad, he can take him out. He can take him out. Mm -hmm. He can take him out any time. Mm -hmm. Yep. And um, there are those who say God can do anything. Mm. And then we say, why doesn't he get rid of the devil? Mm. And then they start making excuses. Like, he wants us. to test us. <laughs> but he already knows the answers yeah. to the test. Mm. So he doesn't need to test us because it kind of it's kind of redundant yeah. to say he wants to test us to see what outcome we're mm. going to have when he already knows. Yeah. yeah, so these are the types of questions that when you look at this subject of did God create the devil, you have to really dissect it and say, okay, okay, let's go with it. He did create the devil. Mm. To do what? Cause mischief, mayhem on the planet. Murders, yep. rapes, Rape. um, anything evil that you can test think of. Test his son, his Wars. only begotten son. Yeah, <laughs> test his, his only begotten son. Um, cause havoc and yep. chaos on the planet. Diseases. Yep. All kinds of Famines, stuff. Yeah. Famines. Racism. Racism, earthquake, tornadoes. Um, but God can snap his fingers yeah. and get rid of him and snap his fingers and say, let this world be peaceful. Let's all live happily ever after in utopia. You know, what we're saying is the reason that the gods of the Bible don't do this is because you have a completely wrong concept of who and what God is, right? So God are these extraterrestrials that you call Elohim that are parading around, making mistakes, you know, um, creating things from things already in existence, creating hybrids of beings, and they don't know the outcome. And then when it goes wrong, they say, oh, it went wrong. Let's get rid of it. Let's start all over, you see. So a lot of misinformation is confusing people and this ties into a lot of people having mental health issues because the stories do not add up you can't work it out you know you got stories of like him destroying Sodom and Gomorrah and mm. you know there's so many things that he does for props um, the whole story about the flood the flood <laughs> yeah like and, and a lot of people don't realize Genesis starts off with a flood. Mm. They think the flood is only the Noah flood, but the flood in Genesis, is, it says, earth was void, without form, and um, it was a deepness. Yeah, void and darkness. Void, upon yeah. Earth. And the spirit of God was moving upon the face of, of the, the deep, of mm. the waters. That means everything was on the water. That was a flood. Um, and then, obviously, we've explained and we can go into who are we talking about? The gods you're talking about are these Anunnaki, mm. Enlil and Enki and, you know, their father Anu and their, the rest of their, you know, family, Nagal, Arishkegal, 
etc etc so they were terraforming the planet at that point and people think that this is the beginning of the world and the beginning of everything yeah. when it's not it's a a recreation after an accident took place that's why the word in you know for for genesis even though people think genesis means the beginning barashith. it doesn't yeah it's barashith mm -hmm. which is reconstruct yeah. to redo again if i have a glass and i say can you refill my glass it means that i had something in it mm -hmm. maybe a drink, drink i yeah. drank it and i said can you refill it mm. so to refill the earth it's not saying it was the, the beginning because how do you know when you start to go into the story of Adam and Eve, yep. Cain and Abel were the only people on the planet mm -hmm. at that time because he took the dust of the ground, formed man, blew into man, man became a living soul as they say. They had children, Cain and Abel, Cain kills Abel. So maths, four people, mum mm -hmm. and dad, two children, one kills one, three people mm -hmm. are left. But the... Uh, one that is left, Cain, they banish him. Mm -hmm. um, land of Nod. Yeah, and send him out. He goes mm -hmm. to the land of Nod. They put a mark on him yeah. so, that, so that no one would trouble him. So where are all these people coming mm -hmm. from? And where does he get his wife? Yeah. And, you know, so all these questions show you that it was not the beginning as in the Genesis or the genealogy of Isis, Isis yeah. dealing with the genetics, the genes. And in Barashith, it means to recreate, to refill the earth. So you have to go back to what was before Genesis. And this is why we're saying the Enuma Elish, the Gilgamesh epics, the tablet, tablets of uh, um, Atana, Atana yeah. the Arcadian tablets, all of these, the Egyptian stories predate the Bible. So did God create the devil? Yes, because the God you're talking about is the devil himself. So, yep. so he created something in his image and <laughs> his likeness. Yep. And everybody, always put, everybody says, mm. we're all in the image of God. How does that make sense? Mm. If we're all in the image of God, why are we different complexions, yeah. different blood types, blood types yep. different hair <laughs> textures, different heights? We, the list goes on. So... Um, mm. We're not all in the image of God. The hybrids of the Adamites that were created in the image and likeness of these Elohim, these Anunnaki, they're in their image, you see. So, um, did God create the devil? The question is, which God? Which devil? And why? What's the purpose? And where's the devil today? Yeah. Where is he now? Mm. Because he was cast down here, right? Yeah. He was cast down to the planet Earth. Revelations 12, 7. Yep, Revelations 12, 7. He says he was cast down here. So where is he? And he has children. He has offspring. Because it tells you they're multiplied, the legions. You know, so there are people walking around on the planet today doing devilishment. Where did they learn devilishment from? From the devil. So if you're a false accuser, accusing people falsely, you're a devil. If you're doing anything devilish, devilish, devilishment, devilishment yep. then you're a devil. Mm -hmm. you know? And it's not one guy with a pitchfork in hell, a place that has not been confirmed, um, where you're going to go and burn forever, which if you think about it, doesn't even make mm -hmm. sense. What kind of fire will burn you forever? Meaning... Fire needs something to consume, yeah? yeah. Ox oxygen. Needs oxygen <laughs> and something to burn. Fun, yeah. So if it's burning something, it's consuming it. So mm. if you're in hell and you're being burnt, but you're not being consumed, then obviously that fire can't be very effective. You know, these are all questions that, as a, as a person that is trying to know the truth, you should really ask yourself, does the devil even exist and who is it mm. and are you the devil ask yourself mm. what do you do um yeah the story can go on and on and on i think in job 6 1 um god asks the devil where have you been yeah and then he says from walking to up and, and down yeah and up to and, and down fro. and then to and fro yeah so up and down and then to and fro. 
which ties into the cross, yeah. the cross, the double cross, because you're getting double crossed, you know. Um, you're being told you're worshipping a God that is supposed to be all loving, all caring, he's the creator, and yet when you look at his actions and what he's actually doing in the Bible, he's committing every crime you can possibly think of. Drowning people, drowning animals, asking for sacrifices, blood sacrifices, blood sacrifice, sprinkled yeah. blood all over the altar. You can read all of this in Leviticus chapters 13 and 14, mm. yeah, and throughout the Bible. Um, you know, so your concept of God, of being this loving, caring being, is misguided. You know, and we break it down. Your real God and creator are your parents who give birth to you. And you come out in the image and their likeness. And you have their DNA and their genetics to the point where you even have their traits and you behave and act like them. Of course, you have your part as well because um, you get, you know, 33% of your mum, 33% of your dad. Mm. 33% of yourself and that one anomaly which makes up the next um, the next number so every every number has to have a part of the next number because there's no point of having one without the other if I hope I'm not losing anyone but um, yeah so did God create the devil why what's the purpose can he get rid of the devil hmm why not? He has the power, doesn't he? Or does he? What would be the use of it? I mean, yeah, what, what, what would be the significance of creating something evil? I mean, coming from someone that's supposed to be loving, mm. the, the, op the opposite of what the negative is being. Why would a, a positive being create something negative? What would be the purpose? Yeah, and you only learn this through these religious books. The reason is because you, there would be no need mm. for God. If you had, if you didn't yeah. have a devil, yeah. because people make excuses when everything is bad, they blame it on the devil. Mm. And so, if the devil wasn't there, you couldn't blame it on the devil. So, anytime anything good happens, everybody says, "Thanks, mm. God." And every time something bad happens, they say, "Oh, it must be the devil," devil. or oh, "Curse the devil." It's like, why, why, why create the devil? Why have the devil in the first place? But also, another thing to point out, um, Revelations 12-7, um, when there was a war in heaven, yeah. Michael fought against the dragon and his angels. Mm. The dragon and his angels, yes. But the Lord's prayer is, our Father who are in heaven. Mm. So the question is, when this war was taking place in heaven, where was God? Mm. <laughs> good question, good question. Why are they even warring? In man's house. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's a very interesting question. Who made the weapon? Um, even, even like the whole story of Cain and Abel when, you know, they, or Adam and Eve, when they were put into the enclosed garden mm. and, and God put... Um, the, the mark? No, not oh, that. The, 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 the cherubim. Yeah, the, yeah, the, the, the cherubim with a flaming sword. Yeah. That's the first time a weapon <laughs> is mentioned in the whole Bible. And so God created the weapon, the sword. And then... The fire as well with the sword to say you can't come into the garden. And, and the cherubims were disagreeable. Yes. So you got seraphim, which is the good ones, and then you got the cherubims, which is the bad, bad ones. ones. So there's but good they, and bad. In the system, they promote the cherubs as like cuddly wise. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Babies. They're meant to be the the angels. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they promote the cherubs. <laughs> the disagreeable ones they're promoting. And like, they, they got bad health as well because they're all chubby. Chubby, and, fat, yeah. Yeah, like they're eating, <laughs> I don't know what they're eating. But. Flesh probably. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, um, we don't mean to, you know, offend anyone. Yeah, yeah. But these things, when you start to think about them, they can actually, you can actually, you'd have to laugh or else, you know mm. what I mean? You might think, they've been lying to me. And, yeah. and, and it could have a, a, a massive negative effect. So you kind of have to approach it from a very humorous perspective mm. as, to make it light. Because really, why do they want to lie to you? Why do they want to make you think mm. that you're going to hell and, you know, make you feel guilty 
about even just questioning. Mm. They say that you're blaspheming yeah. if you question God, if you ask questions, because you have people that are supposed to be representing God, the ministers, the pastors, the, you know, the imams and the people that don't really know the actual facts. And because they can't answer the question, they pick on you. Mm. If you ask a question they don't know, instead of saying, you know, we don't know, they'll say you're a troublemaker mm. in the church and run you away or say that you need Jesus yeah. or something to make you feel like you're stupid. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus <laughs> as well, for that matter. And a human body contains, what, like six ounces of blood, probably? I don't know. And it's like, how much blood does he have? Because mm. every Sunday they're drinking the blood of Jesus. And eating the body. Eating yeah. the body in the flesh, yeah. which ties into the whole, you know... Um, Cannibalism. Cannibalism, you know. So these are serious questions that, you, you know, you have to ask yourself. Why do you need to eat the flesh and drink the blood? Mm. They'll say it's symbolic, but then when you tie it into the people that are promoting this, you, you go into the whole story of homophiliacs, mm. Dracula, because like you said, the, the war in the heaven was with the dragon. Yeah. And the word dragon ties into the word Draco, Draco yep. or the Draconians. And the Draco constellation, and this is where these beings are coming from. This is where the wars were taking place in heaven, and then they came to the planet Earth. You know these these reptilians, and so, you know those are what people are calling gods. They're parading around as if they're god, but you can see that they're flawed and they have, you know, mistakes. And you know you got the the book there. This book here is how it is. God an extraterrestrial. Yeah. So. This was written by um, Pana Babin, Dr. Malachi Z. York. So this goes into the different species of extraterrestrials that are in and around our planet that reside either in the waters, in the caves, caverns, swamps, that are here. Also the beings that have um, had contact with um, government officials in exchange for um, technology, mm -hmm. they'll get to abduct humans. And stuff like that. So, yeah, yeah, so then this is uh, the concept of God being an extraterrestrial mm. because they tell you God is in heaven. Where is heaven? Heaven is up there, they say. Yeah. There, where? Because we can study the stars and know that there are different planets, different constellations, you know, different galaxies. Mm. And people would like to think that we're the only life form in this one little planet mm. in the cosmos but that's not really scientifically true because what is life um bacteria are alive where there's water there's life they found water on mars and the moon um they found structures on in the moon on the moon um, because the story of these extraterrestrials they they went to different places and, and, and on their way here, they, you know, they stopped mm -hmm. at different places and they, they did things like the face on Mars and mm -hmm. you know, the structures that they found on Mars. So they, and we know the story to be these Anunnaki beings with like Alalu and, Anunnaki, right. um, and Anu having yeah. a war and him flooding and stopping off and creating you know, these structures on, on Mars before coming to the planet Earth. You know, many experiments have been um, taking place with these extraterrestrials. Yeah, so did God create the devil? Yes, but which God? Mm. Yeah, um, I don't know if there's any more you want to say on that. But if you want to know, if you want to know more, get hold of this. Did God create the devil? Mm. And it will open your mind to the actual facts.